So I'd first just like to mention that upload schedule should be back to normal soon. Over the past few weeks, been really busy working on the bike, working on the bike shed again. I know I said it was finished, but the work's never done in here. I'm always changing things, always doing it. So I'm putting new trail maps up on the wall behind me at the bottom. I'm not going to show you yet. Uh, I'm moving stuff around, built a bike holder, rack in here to hang the bikes on the wall, all kinds of stuff, built a bike wash station outside in the garden. So I've done some a lot of stuff. But today's video is going to be our first ride back, a first of a new series. I haven't fully figured out what I'm going to call it yet, of course you'll see in the title. But it's basically a trip in which our first ride at all our favourite places and when we go and ride some new places is going to be like a part of the trip to get back because we haven't been able to ride for a couple of months. But anyway, today we are going to be riding Thetford. I know, Thetford. But I'm actually really excited for it because it's our first ride there in two months. I'm really excited about it. I can use the gimbal, get some great footage. Really looking forward to this ride, to spend a good day there. If I look tired, it's because I am 6am in the morning. Um, it is literally 6am. We got up super early this morning so we can go out, get there early, get there for 8 o'clock, leave by 7, get there for 8 and get to the car park before it gets busy so we can go, be back, there's no people. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it so let's jump into this video. So we are kicking off, we are kicking off riding with some epic trails, all that sort of stuff. So we've already actually been for a ride this morning, so we went with the red route. If you check out my Strava, you'll see that it was hilarious. We had quite a few crashes because it's just so dry. Slid out everywhere, sliding in all the corners, but I didn't record any of it because I just thought, do you know what? First ride back, let's just enjoy it without filming. I'll come out again later and film it. Apart from the ride earlier, this is our first proper bike ride since lockdown began. We are now allowed out to exercise where we want, so let's do it in style. Yeah, so that's good that my sign is still on there. I've already done this once today, but you know, you can never get too much of it. This is where our friend slid out earlier. Caught the, caught the rock. Okay, you can't go massively fast today because it's super, super slippy. And all the bushes are overgrown because no one's been riding this or not as many as you would normally get to that matter. Now this bit here, oh, this is interesting. Lots of sharp rocks. Oh, that was epic. Whoa, super sandy. Nice big burn. Back up for another run. Oh, super gnarly. Oh, whoa. Feet came off the pedals, so I'm still waiting for my 510s Impact Pro to come. They should be coming today. Oh, that was a rim dinger. Rim dinger. Oh, why did I take that line? Stupid. Oh. That did not go well for me today. Just 
stupid trees. called Motto Trail. It's a bit of a leg killer after standing up for ages. But we'll see how we get on. This corner here is super nasty because it's so tight. Oh, oh. Bikes ride super, super, super smooth today. Road straight over that pine cone. Here's another one. That sound is just so satisfying. The sound of pine cones crushing underneath the tires. See, I like this trail. It is fast, but today I am just being extra cautious about all this trail sabotage stuff because I feel like this is a trail someone would do it on just because of how close the trees are. So you gotta be a little bit cautious. I mean, don't let it ruin your ride, but definitely just be mindful. Let's still enjoy it and just be mindful. Now we've got a nice, nice long uphill. Thing is, it doesn't ever look like anything, this hill. It always looks really easy, but it's, it gets deceptively steeper at the end. This time, I'm gonna try and jump a few of them. Now, I'm not gonna lie, jumping is not my strong point. Oh, that one's a roller. Oh, no. No. That one's always been a roller. And this one because I would trash my wheel. So, I'm more of kind of, I call myself a BKXC rider. Because I'm, I'm good at sort of enduro stuff and all that. And I'm okay at jumping, but I'm good at fast trails, techie trails, rocks, routes little jumps and stuff but dirt jumping and stuff isn't really kind of my thing and you may be wondering that them jumps aren't very big so how did I not manage to clear them well the truth is today it's actually really sandy so those trails were super hard to just keep your speed up on because you just slid out everywhere it's pretty crazy really but well, that do Nice and sandy that is today. Right, so this is actually kind of weird because we were here earlier. We've basically been today jumping back and forth. Thetford, Brandon, Thetford, Brandon, all day.
nice pump track now it's been concreted Oh no, foot's come off the pedal. You don't actually really have to pedal much to get up there. So yeah, this is a little weird because we're now finishing our ride heading back to Brandon and we're doing the start of the red route at the end of the road. Oh my god. For some reason, ever since I landed them jumps over in Brandon, my poor bike has been making a bit of noise. So, oh, it's probably the rear shock. I might upgrade it to a Fox X2. This pit is super sandy, it's impossible to jump today. I tried it earlier, too hard. Oh, that is rough. Now we've got a little, yeah, see, tiny downhill. I'm glad I'm not on a hardtail right now. There are some days where full sus just does the job perfect. Like right now. <laughs> I know I'm wearing the same clothes as my intro earlier, that's because I changed because my biking clothes were, um, yeah, muddy as usual, but today was such a funny day, I cannot express it. And I am gutted that I didn't get it all on film because, to be fair, I just wanted to do the first ride, just a lap of the line burner, just to have a laugh, have some fun, and it, it was really fun, seriously. So many funny things happened, like our mate's bar, he crashed into a tree on the beast, he slid out because he was trying to follow someone down the beast, I'm not going to go into that story but he crashed, that was absolutely hilarious. I shouldn't laugh, probably, because I think he hurt his knee, but oh, that was funny. Um, my dad also, the wheels, the wheels fell off his bike. Um, so those of you that know a quick release system, you know the wheel drops down, so you have to tighten up. If it's not tightened, the wheel will just fall out. Well, basically, they weren't tight, so the frame was just resting on the wheels, so as soon as he'd have over bump, he'd have been off the bike. So, that was quite funny, a bit serious, but funny. Um, everything just happened today. It was hilarious. We were sliding everywhere, sliding out. The tyres were going everywhere. And yeah, overall, it was a really epic day. Epic first ride to get back into the sport. I am shattered now. Probably going to go in, just lay down for a bit because I haven't done it for a while, so it makes me more tired. Anyway... Thank you for watching. Oh, just an update, my shoes have arrived today while we were out, so that's good news. You'll see that we review in the next few weeks. But anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and write. Let's go.